I'm Jeff Rayback, and I'm a software development manager. Software actually turns out to be more of a creative thing, I think, than most people realize. My job is to get my team into an optimal state where they're running as fast as they possibly can without having any negative impact on either the company or the customers. Often people have this problem where the faster they move, the more problems they're causing. And some people's approach to that is to slow way down. I don't think speed and safety have to conflict or sometimes moving faster is safer. You just have to do it right. I think we would go a week sometimes without deploying anything to the site. The reason for that was it didn't feel safe to people to deploy more often than that. You start the deployment and you're just crossing your fingers that you didn't break anything. And it was hard to feel confident. We started using Split as a company for A-B tests. When we set up our first user test, it occurred to me we could use this for feature flags and it would probably work great. My nights before we started doing specifically feature flags, we actually would plan these gigantic releases um, where everybody in the company that had anything to release would do it at like 10 p.m. on a Thursday or something like that. Those were a disaster. My phone was ringing all the time. I never slept through the night. And I actually can't remember the last time I got called. And that's because everybody at our company is moving faster. They're all making smaller changes. People tend to use feature flags. They're not having to deploy at night anymore because you can deploy safely during the day. Like we deploy now during our peak customer traffic in the afternoon all the time. Those are bug fixes. Those were performance improvements. Those were resiliency improvements. That's a massive amount of change. And none of them caused any negative customer impact. None. You know it's not going to break anything. The worst we ever do is a small problem for a small amount of time for a small number of people. So you don't cross your fingers anymore. Now I sleep. If you never make the small investment that it takes to do this, you will always be paying a slightly higher cost for literally everything you do. Every time you make a change from now until the end of time, it's going to take longer because you can't prove that you didn't break anything. If you write the tests now, yes, this will take slightly longer. It's not that difficult to implement feature flags. You're just adding a, a call that's saying, do I show this to this person or not? It's like, you know, I don't know, 15 minutes of code or something. If you only built one feature flag, it would provide value. You know, prevented one outage, awesome, that was worth it. There's no all or nothing about this. Like anything you do it on, it's gonna help. I value split because it lets me get back to the things that I love.